Hey, Mr. Parker here to do a review for uh, Vicious Circle Films. This one, they sent me a screener, but I already had the DVD, and I already had watched it, so I popped it in again to watch it. No harm there. Did not mind at all. It is uh, Kevin Tenney's new movie, Brain Dead. Uh, not to be confused with... Uh a couple movies named Brain Dead, of course, Dead Alive, and then the Bill Pullman one. This is its own movie. It's not a remake or anything. It's an original idea. Uh, basically, what we have here is uh, Kevin Tenney coming back to the direct. Uh, he directed such things as Witchboard, Night of the Demons, Cellar, Witch Trap. Uh, Night of the Demons is a cult classic, really great, really fun, really 80s. And this film kind of captures uh, some of the essence of that uh, 80s feel, and uh, you can see that Kevin Tenney still got it, which is fun to see. Uh, basically, the film starts off with a group of people camping and a couple of escape convicts and a preacher and trying to cheat on his wife and they all end up in this cabin uh, surrounded by an uh, alien parasite that takes over bodies and uh, makes them zombies and they feast on brains but uh, that's pretty much the plot uh, you get a lot of funny one-liners a lot of you know uh, bickering back and forth uh, the priest is great, uh, the reverend, I should say. You know, he's uh, trying to blame this on God and things like that. And Bob, the prisoner, is really awesome, too. He's the main, he's just a vicious son of a bitch. And then we got uh, the other guy who's kind of wrongfully accused with this smart alpy comments. And uh, a lesbian college student and another girl with her. And, of course, the uh, reverend's uh, side action that he took with him, who thinks the reverend could do no harm. But uh, this film uh, delivers on all the goods you would want from an 80s classic. Uh, it delivers on splatter. It's very splatter filled, very gory. Uh, we're talking heads getting ripped in half, brain snatched out and eaten. That happens a few times. Like four or five different pairs of boobs, and that's just amazing. All the women are gorgeous looking. It's uh, all very good looking. Uh, the action does never stop. Uh, the jokes never stop. It's just a lot of fun. And, you know, this is the type of movie that you could watch repeatedly and not really get tired of ever. It's goofy, it's silly, but it's fun. It's just a nice little. Uh, watch to be any anything you would want like from that era you know you get your gore you get your practical facts you get your silly characters you get your nudity you get everything it's kind of like a fun little 80s movie it's like a lost 80s tenny movie and you know i just really thought this was a lot of fun i really dug it i watched it a couple times like i said with no harm i enjoyed it every second of it uh, i thought the acting was pretty fun and i thought uh you know like this is packed with features, too. There's commentary, I believe. I didn't watch with the commentary, but I did watch the behind-the-scenes, which is like a 45-minute uh, documentary, which is really cool. The scout locations and everything. Kevin Tenney seems like a really nice guy. And then there's bloopers in there and deleted scenes, which are cool, and it comes with the tr uh, some trailers. This is a nice release, and it's uh, a horror movie that, uh, you know, is a lot of fun to watch, especially from the best era of horror movies, probably. So I would definitely check out Brain Dead. You won't be disappointed if you like uh, 80s horror movies. You won't be disappointed disappointed and who doesn't like 80s horror movies who usually almost everyone likes them uh but yeah check this one out you won't be disappointed it's a lot of fun silly i know some people don't like the silly stuff but uh i do and i think this is a lot 80s feel and i think it works well and it's brain dead uh thank you for watching